Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on this new Skim Melt HD Swiss Lace Wig from SoGoodHair.com. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and direct links down below in the description box. Along with my wig, I also received a wig cap, a head scarf, a hair bonnet, a baby hair brush comb duo, a pair of tweezers, bobby pins, and an additional removable elastic band as well as wig combs. So the wig that I received is an undetectable invisible 13 by four HD lace front bob wig, 12 inches, 150% density, and the hair texture is curly. So if you are unfamiliar with lace and you are a beginner and you're unsure of which lace to get, HD Lace is the best option for you because it is the newest on the market. It's the thinnest. It does melt into any skin complexion seamlessly and you get a melted look without any effort. HD Swiss Lace wigs can also be worn glueless. This wig from So Good Hair does come pre-plucked and the knots have been lightly pre-bleached, which means that you do get the look of bleach knots, but you don't have to worry about the excessive shedding because the knots have not been over-processed. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is the beige method of zigzag plucking and parting to get rid of some of that extra density from the front hairline. Of course, this is always optional and as a beginner, you do not have to pluck any additional hairs. However, I do plan to wear this wig out of my face and I want it to look a little bit more natural. So I will take the extra step to pluck a little bit more of the hairs from the hairline to customize it. So now that I'm satisfied with the hairline, I'm gonna move on to tinting the lace. I want this lace to be a perfect match for my complexion, so I'll be grabbing two different colored lace tints. One is gonna be the color of my foundation because that is where the lace and my foundation will meet. I'm gonna spray that along the hairline of the frontal and then blow dry. I'm doing two layers of each colored lace tint. The second color lace tint is lighter than my foundation and I will be spraying that behind where I originally sprayed and that is going to be the color of my scalp. Okay, so now it's time for styling. I'm going to grab small sections of hair, grab a detangling comb and make sure that each section is fully detangled. I'm gonna grab a spray bottle of water and fully saturate the section that I'm working on. Then grabbing a curling gel, I'm going to apply that to the hair. Then grabbing my Denman brush, I'm going to brush from the bottoms on up and that's gonna to help define to the curls. After that, I'll be grabbing a perm rod and rolling the ends of the hair because I want more of a curl at the bottom. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to allow the hair to air dry overnight. 
So now it's time for the install. I have already prepped my hairline with scalp protector and alcohol. Next, I'm gonna grab the wig and line it up. The frontal is much longer than my hairline on the sides. As you can see, the lace does cover my ear. So to customize the wig, you do have the option of cutting out the ear tabs by basically grabbing the rat tail end of a comb and making a part where your ear starts at the top or right above that, and then cutting it with the scissors. To install this wig, I will be doing it in sections. Working on the middle section first, I'm gonna grab Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel and apply a thin layer to the middle portion of the center of my forehead. I'm gonna blow dry it for a few seconds so that it can get tacky. And then grabbing that extra lace, I'm gonna place it where I would want the hairline to start. So I am going to place it right there on top of my hairline. And then I'm gonna grab the end of a rat tail comb and basically just press the lace into that gel. I'm gonna follow those steps for the left and right portions of this wig. And then I'm going to put my headscarf on for about 15 minutes to allow it to set. Fifteen minutes later, it's time to remove the headscarf and to cut away the extra lace. I have a more rounded hairline and my hairline is lower than this wig. So you can see my edges peeking through the wig. And when I cut away that extra lace, you will still be able to see my hairline, which tells me that I'm going to have to add some baby hairs to this wig. Okay, so it's time to remove the rollers and to reveal the hairstyle. Grabbing each roller, I'm just going to unloosen it and then use my fingers to finger comb through it just to give it more fullness. <music> Lastly, I'm gonna grab a hair polisher and a hair glosser to finish off the look. And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. If you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notification bell to be notified of all of my future uploads. Don't forget to comment down below so I know that you stopped by and I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. I, I, I.